always going to be. It's always going to be. It doesn't matter the tool that's they used. That it matters the result that who it's going to yes. offend. So this is why people are getting pissed off. They're, they're, it's going. It's not about the tool that was used, which in this case is our democracy to do something. It's about who gets pissed off at the results of it. So you got one side that's going to get pissed off if it's used, used this way, and you got the other side that's going to get pissed off if it's used this way. And it's all sure. bullshit. I mean, it's just. I mean, our democracy isn't isn't to blame. Our democracy is just a tool in place to we, the people, have a voice and that we can do something if we fucking have a problem with things that are and, going on. And we can be That's right all and we it can is. be wrong, too. Some people get pissed off just like a fucking gun. People get pissed off if that tool is used to do something they don't think it should be used. And so they want to blame the fucking tool. And that's the problem. It's not about the fucking tool. We use democracy to fucking do something because it was put in place for a reason and it does you know, for the most part, far more good than it does bad, if we, the people, would just take advantage of using it the way we're supposed to, just like a gun. It's put in place for, for a good reason. It can be used for a tool for good much, much more than it can be used for a tool for bad. It's just the vast majority of people don't get up off their ass and realize that they need to take care of themselves and learn how to defend themselves and stop relying on everybody else to take care of themselves for them, okay? It's a tool either way you look at it. And the people who are going to look at the end result only are going to get pissed off about it. Oh, I don't like the way that turned out, so it must be that thing's fault. It's bullshit. I agree. <laughs> Can you take care of that for me, Matt? Can you take care of that for me, Matt? What? I don't know. What that uh, I thought it was funny. Bike, bike, bike rallies? No, no, I'm sorry, I... Bad timing. No, I was trying to. Be funny. <laughs> I'm like, what? The, the, that's the yeah, comment. That, no, I was just, I was just going to say for another topic. Uh, I think uh, Warthog brought it up that uh, we should talk about those biker rallies. Well, the bike rally and then the million. I mean, the 32 Muslim march or whatever it was. That's pretty funny. Wait, wait, now I heard about this 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 Muslim march. Has that happened yet? Am I just? Dude, I just it was. It was the Million Muslim March, but like 23 Muslims showed up. Okay, that's probably why I didn't <laughs> Seriously, hear there's a picture on Facebook of like the 32 people, and like there was yeah, more press I mean, there I, than I, I was. I heard Muslim. about it. I heard it was coming, but I didn't. To remember be fair, the day. I don't think I would show up if I was Muslim, and they were doing something like that because it seems pretty weird. But it was like a setup. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's, let's get all you Muslims but, together. But then I guess I guess a bunch of bikers did show up. They didn't give them the the right to assemble, but they showed up anyway because they're coming from like as far away as from Alaska and stuff. And then uh, they all showed up, and I guess they kept diverting them around so they couldn't really assemble. And I don't know. I guess they assume because people are on a motorcycle, then they must be like 60s-era outlaw bikers, and they're, they're <laughs> in a, like slaughter Muslims or something. I don't understand. They tried to keep them away from each other, but I've only heard it through NPR, so I guess I have a private bias. Yeah, I only uh, heard brief, uh, brief kind of little bits and pieces about that story. Um, you're saying there's only like a maybe like less than a hundred people showed up? Oh, dude, it's something like 23. There's pictures all wow. over Facebook. I'm surprised you haven't you had somebody put it in your loop or whatever. But yeah, there's there was very few people showed up, and they just kind of stood there. And I mean, unless that was a setup picture, but that's everything I've heard is that very very few people showed up in that. That was well. You remember what was it? I don't know how long it's been now. Maybe seven, eight, ten years when they did the Million Man March with all the. That was back in the 90s. Has yeah, it been that, was, that long well, ago? That, well, yeah. that was the first one, right? Yeah, yeah I guess. Shit, I can't believe it's and been what that was long that one for? What was that for? The, so the Million Man March. It was all African-American men that were supposed to unite and do this Million Man March. And there was okay. there was so much media attention given to it. And there was such false uh, numbers associated with it, you know, saying that they actually got a million men, you know, to march well, on D.C. And, and and I'll just say, I, re I remember that, and I will say in their defense, there was still a shit ton of people. Yeah, there was probably, it was, you know. It was hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people showed up. Okay, so it may not have been a million people, but there was a shit ton of people that showed up. Now, regardless yeah. of whether you agree with what it was about, and I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what it was necessarily supposed to be about. I think it was right. just, hey, here we are, and, and okay, Good for you. Well, the, the, um, but, the point I was, yeah, the point I was going to make is that that's that shows a lot of. Uh, I, I don't know. I I just think there's a big disconnect in our amongst our uh, peers, if you will, um, 
And if you can get, a, you know, probably let's say 200,000 together for something that didn't really mean that much, you know, it's pretty sad that we can't get, you know, 50,000 well, together. Let's be fair, if that us. happened back in, you know, 1990-whatever, the, the world was a different place, man. To, to try and get that many people together now with the economy being so rough, I mean, you, you can't get people well, to go yeah. an hour from their house for a rally. You yeah, know what from, I mean? the financial, from the financial Right, aspect, and that's yeah. – dude, if people could afford it, they'd come out. If they could afford to take the time off work, if they could afford the travel, they would do it. I guarantee that. But, you yeah, know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think about the a million people in one of these chats. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe that's where you know you can change it. Is is people can maybe get together on chats like this, and or you know, listening to chats like this, and, and decide that they're going to do something, and then actually well, sit uh, down, now, what, take a pen and me, paper, and write a goddamn letter. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Now, here's the thing: what 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 is what would be the difficulty in and and what and and honestly, I mean, give me your honest opinions. I'm just curious. What what would be the outcome or, or the perception if you picked a day and just had as many fucking people, if you could get even half the gun channels out there, I don't care whether you got five subs or 500,000 subs, to just fucking on one day at any given time just open up a fucking chat and cram it full of ten people and get everybody to do that all at once, what would be – what would that – what would that do? I mean, if you yeah, had nobody like watching, the idea. So would be effectively, <laughs> effectively, it would also shut down YouTube. I'm sure. I say we try that. Google. Well, I'm, I mean, I mean, seriously though. I mean, if awesome. you and, and honestly, what kind of what kind of of of, uh, of of news coverage would we get if we could fucking shut down YouTube for it two hours? It would be hours? like crazy wackos <laughs> shut down YouTube in an attempt to take I mean, over the internet somehow. Yeah, and we'd all be under investigation. You can't get 50,000 <laughs> gun owners to all get to the same place to march on Washington or whatever it is, yeah. then you know, can you get them all to show up on the internet at the same time in groups of 10? I like where you're going with If you could get idea. everybody that, in the country who's a yeah. shooter... To be able that, to pull the trigger at the same yeah, time. Yeah, because that wouldn't cost anything. Dude. But it's not like one giant gun shop or a gun shop. That would that'd be a bit. <laughs> the entire that'd world. Be hilarious. It, oh, you the, know, what, what, the, what, does, what does the song say? Million. Fire all your guns at once and explode yeah, exactly. into space? We would. We would literally explode into space. That would yeah, be awesome. There you go. That'd be kind of The neat. million desktop march. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to fire this girl because she's 100 years old. 101. Oh, I like how the <laughs> Canadian thinks he's invited into our. <laughs> Man, this shit doesn't even concern you, Bob. You're lucky you get to wow. watch from the sidelines. Yeah. No, it, it does. Like you guys don't understand how how much it matters to Bobby, Canadians. It's like, like we're like a mouse water, sleeping yeah. next to an elephant. Every time you fart, shudder, or start to roll over, we got to be looking. Yeah, we're the elephant who can't even roll around because we got little tiny friends. Yeah, you're just worried about the, all the guns you're going to get when we ban the ex in reimportation of them. Uh, not the, not the you know, I, I am, and I feel bad about it, but hey, if the revolution comes, I'll be the first guy at the border throwing boxes of ammo over to you guys. There you you go. just throw a couple right of on. SBCs my way. I'll be happy well, yeah, with okay, that. Yeah, we'll do that too, you know. Uh, real quick, <laughs> Matt, my really long throw you guys from Canada to Matt. Uh, oh, I can't say that, Matt. Listen, I think, I think you're on to something. Uh, I think that's a that's a neat idea. We were talking the other night on uh, the G-Webs thing uh, about um, you know maybe a day where we all rock uh, an empty holster or something like that. Something very birthday. simple yeah. but unifying at the same time. And I I don't think that uh, I don't I don't think what you said is a bad idea. It's a, it's a start. And if we could you know collectively because literally the people that are sitting here talking have the potential to put this all together for the entire country is it possible can can we make a difference by doing something like that with, uh, you, you know what i mean uh, it certainly get mothers against drunk drivers did it before the internet oh yeah exactly uh, well, I think here's right. the thing why why does it i think it's thing, rude of all of you to talk to over yankee poor yankee's trying to get a word in since i'm the one that started this shit several weeks ago i think i should be able to at least say a word on it well no i'm just saying well cuz what yankee what you were talking about is is having a day to get together and everybody does something specific on this day, but what I'm talking about is what what is is why do we have to why does it all why does it it have to be just because, one thing? I mean, because, why can't we? Because why a can't vast majority of people like, won't do that thing any other day. 
There has to be a special day where they can say, like, hey, people don't run out with Kiss Me, I'm Irish shirts every day of the year, but they think it's okay on St. Patrick's Day. And they can right. dress their, they can get paint their face all green. Well, and, and, and I agree with be that. Like, what uh, I'm saying is, the way you, throw up green beer. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. What I'm saying is, the way you, the way you described it was that it's something we can do, like, maybe every month or whatever. So yeah. why can't we, like, so why, why can't we, like, every, you know, every month it can be something maybe a little bit different. Like, one month we can all get together and have as many... because no, then it's complicated. Of no, no, then it gets complicated. complicated. No one but gets the empty holster involved. third Thursday, you can make every... You can say October is th is empty holster for New York, and the There's next month is for California. You can always say it's for something. Yeah, There's he just took, he took your idea and made it better. You don't, don't have to not do that. What I'm saying is, why can't there be other I things... Hold on for a second. There's a big reason why Christmas is still big, because it's the same every fucking year. If it was a different holiday every year, it wouldn't be happening. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about making something you know different or or, or I'm saying if you want to set together a day where we can do like what y'all talked about in that chat the other day, the the empty holster thing, and make it the same no, day no, every it's month. Not empty holster thing. That's not my idea. My idea is not empty holster. Empty holster. Okay, well, whatever. What I'm saying is there are different ideas out there. We don't just have to pick one and roll with it. Okay. No, but if we don't, if, but, you have no, to no, pick no, no, no. Idea. if we don't pick one idea, it's gonna be a bunch of dumbasses doing nothing, and then a bunch of other dumbasses being offensive. Is what it's going right, to be. because then it turns that we we did, we were talking about it. The it it evolved from an alternative to AR's over, over the shoulder at the yeah. at the Starbucks. It was like, what can we do that's not you know you can do in every state, and that's not gonna scare people necessarily. And, well, and that's where the I see what you're saying, but I think that it's just for the consistency, so that people can remember. Well, that's you know, okay, third Thursday you know, carry holster. Already, but here's the point. Already, we've got somebody talking about empty holsters, and Yankee saying, "No, that's not what I was talking about. I'm talking about doing something else the third Thursday of every month." And then we've got other people talking about, "Let's try and get a bunch of gun channels to put together an online rally through through uh, you know these live chats." What I'm saying is, there's several things we can be doing, and they don't all have to go against each other. They can be different, separate things that we get. I mean, some people will be, and again, some people are going to love the idea of the empty holster thing, and they're going to gravitate towards that, and they're going to start doing that regularly. And then some people are going to gravitate towards the third Thursday of every month thing that Yankee wants to do. And some people are going to gravitate towards the online thing. And hopefully between all of them, we start to get some positive attention for things, and we start to get more people pulled into things. It doesn't just have to be one thing that we all do. We, we, you know, we don't just got to go, we don't just have to sit down here and go, okay, let's all figure out the one thing that we're going to do once a year to try and put positive light on gun ownership. Well, it because doesn't have to be it. once a year either. I, I, exactly. I think the that's idea, what I'm saying. Once a year doesn't do nothing. It doesn't. Right. It doesn't, I, I, but I think the know. idea of doing one thing and then breaking off into doing other things might be the way to go about it because doing that one thing is – is the start of unifying a large mass of people. Exactly. And, that, and that's like if we do it this month and we get 1% of gun owners, or one half of 1% of gun owners, and then next month we get 1% of gun owners, and then the month after we get 1.5% of gun owners, and then 2, yeah. and then 5, and then 10. That's how progressive things like that that are constant are. If you try to be all over the map, you end up with a bunch of people with ARs on their shoulders, screaming at kids from across the street. You end up with people marching around with open carry guns into places that they shouldn't be allowed to go. You know, you end up with more negative publicity than positive. It's got to be very organized. It's got to be very structured. It's got to be where people know, hey, these are what we're trying to do. This is our goal. These are the actions we're going to take. Not, hey, go out there and be visible. Because a lot of people have a bad idea what being visible is. A lot of people think being visible is, you know, challenging a cop on video and looking like an asshole. Well, I think yeah, but very I, important you know, points too. I absolutely, is that... I absolutely agree with that because it has to be it has to be structured and it has to be done in a way that's that's not going to scare anybody or be offensive to anybody or anything like that. It has to be something that's going to get people's attention and draw attention, but in a positive way. And and that kind. Of, so I absolutely agree. What I'm saying is, if you do something every third Thursday of the month, okay. And that's 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 a great fucking idea. I love that. I love I, that's like just that sounds great. We just you start working from there. What what's to say that that has to be the only thing that people do? You get people. No, it shouldn't be. Them. It should be the vanilla ice cream that people start doing whatever is applicable to their area. Exactly. exactly. And whatever that's the fight point. is that and then, day. And then once that gets going, what's to, what's to say you can't have an online rally where you get all these live chats opened up where people are just well, talking see, about firearms. You're saying, well, because yeah. we have ice cream, we can't have cake. 
You know, just because someone wants ice cream doesn't mean they don't want cake too. You can have your cake and your ice cream. And that's the point. That's the point I'm trying to make. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, that's the point. I think we should be able to. We should be able to 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 start doing one thing and get it good and get it rolling and get it consistent and get it positive and then we start doing other things on top of that. Things you know. uh, And again, to go back to the point, you don't want it to be. You don't want to just try and do too many things at once. Because then everybody gets confused. Oh well, I'm going to go do this, and and then somebody else is going to go do that. So you know, and you don't want that. You this start with one, one thing. thing. This is not a political you, fight. That's what the thing we got to make sure we don't make this a political fight. This is not a political fight. This is not yeah. a fight against any law. This is not a fight against any county. This is not a fight against any state. This is simply public awareness. Awareness, right? This is all. I think this there's two important public. aspects to this too. So it should you're be copyrightable, your and it yeah. should be branded with the gun website's logo. You're fighting your legal. <laughs> <laughs> and we should, should not follow. allow Jesus no. anywhere in the charter. But we so don't. that's a good point. So, yeah, you don't want to start bringing in so many things that you start, uh, you know, scaring yeah. people away. Well, you don't. You know, it, it's got to be. It's got to be exclusively about just pointing out that look, guns are not bad. It's got to be about bringing guns in a positive light without adding politics. And religion and anything else, because you don't it's want to. Forty-five seventy, and why are they taking pictures? I don't know. You don't want to exclude anybody. Yay. You don't want to make people feel like, oh, this is about this is about right wing conservatives and guns, or this is about you know whatever whatever it is. No, that's that, absolutely. It's got to be open to everybody. He's taking pictures of himself. Is my camera even working? No. Mm-hmm. And you're taking blank pictures of yourself for some reason. Exactly. Yeah? I don't know. I'm just trying to get this to stop. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So oh, it's a newbie. I remember those days. Any other political statements. We don't want to do anything else. Because so, so I don't want I... people to say, hey, look, those are the people that open carry or carry an empty holster every third, third, or every third Thursday. I guess guns aren't so bad. We don't want them to start being saying, okay, today let's make our open carry event, you know, against gay rights because we're the open carriers against gay rights. Yeah, keep your bullshit out of our our thing. Our thing exactly. is yeah. no, you're, you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. It's got to be about good, good, it's got to be point. all yeah. about positive it's all Wait, be about point. about positive no, I gotta go cut up cucumbers. On, on guns and gun owners. Period. And that's so it. So let me let me pose this question. To it. It's kind of like what honestly do we do? That's the thing. Well, what I, do we do? We're we're sitting well, here yeah, talking about what about. I, well, I let's talk about what we're actually going to do. I personally, I like the open, the 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 empty holster thing, you know, or or whatever. You know, I've seen people do the holster thing with the with the little pocket copy of the Constitution. But honestly, not everybody has a pocket copy of the Constitution, but just an empty holster. I mean, everybody's got a fucking empty holster. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, someone was to post uh, the the, you know, the uh, JPEG or whatever of the Constitution. Couldn't people just print it? Well, yeah. Carry it themselves. I mean, I mean, that's again, easy enough. Everybody's got a computer again, and a printer. And again, I mean, here's the other side of that. Then it starts to dip into political things. When you true, true. Yeah, we don't have endless down. trees down here like you guys have. And, and I mean, although the our Second Amendment rights, well, I'm they're not our Second Amendment rights. Our, our, our I'll put it on a thumb drive and put that in my holster. Yeah, there, there you go. go. But I mean, I, I think the empty holster thing goes. But the other thing is, you know, you want to encourage people. And especially groups of people, if you're going to do an empty holster thing, you want to encourage them to do things like go take part in a community activity while, you know, uh, uh, wearing an empty holster. You want to see people. You Probably want, you want not people a political to rally. Do things. Yeah, well, you're saying rally. stuff. You're I'm muted. About, I'm talking about going. Yeah, don't, and, <laughs> don't want them to do political. I'm just rally. thinking if the pre- if the president's say, talking no, and talking you show up with an empty rally. holster, community. you're going to end up. No, 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 no. no wait, 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 wait. wait. Let I me, want to let talk, talk at the same time, too. I didn't, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me make a point. Good God, take a breath. Let me make a point. Don't do anything except your every normal day activity so you're not all jammed together in one central location. You're at the I'm not talking about that. You're at the mall. That's what I'm talking about. No, he's saying on other days when there's when there happens to be an event. You can I know, but people are also as part of it. When we do our open carry event, we should be doing road cleanup and things like that, too. We don't want to muddy the waters. Don't connect the two. Can I can I ask a question? I want to play a little bit of devil's advocate. How do we prevent people from taking it too far? You can't. Well, you what, can't. What's too far though? Uh, you well, I'm saying I'm seeing people better. breaking the laws in their home states and things oh. like that because there's I think potential. Have to put fine print every time you say. Oh, I suggest you do this as long as you do it legally. 
All we do yeah, is we yeah. clearly say you follow the laws of your state. If you can open carry, open carry. If you can't open carry, put on an empty holster. So uh, uh, we could say make I'll, it I'll listen, listen, firearm awareness Thursday, and then you do I'll, what you want, I suppose. Well, next, here's the thing. Next I'll, I'll Thursday, this out you have to make no, a work. clear. You have to make it clear uh, both before and after because there are going to be things that happen. That yeah. certain things and certain you know, if it's illegal, if it's offensive, if it's in any way done in a manner that is to instigate or cause problems, it is unacceptable to what we're trying to do. Now, I don't know if that means you have a website where you put that up there or if the people who are involved in it make videos about it or whatever it is. Because this is what happened. This is why people fucking go around and talk shit about the fucking Tea Party all the time is because you had about 10% of the people who were in the Tea Party who were fucking problem people and who were fucking throwing up bullshit even though, and I know a lot of people who were in the Tea Party who were just fucking normal people. They weren't racist. They weren't anything. But, you, you know, for every hundred people you had out there, you had five or ten of them who were making fucking bullshit racist signs or causing problems. And the problem was that the Tea Party never fucking said, cut that bullshit. And, and yeah, because that's what, pe that's well, what they aimed their cameras at to report on it. They tried. Exactly. Was, they, they, never, they never fucking they stepped tried. up and said, quit your shit, get the fuck out of here, you're not a part of this, we are not going to allow that. They, yeah. they allowed people to, to co-opt the bullshit, even though it was a small percentage. And well, it sounds like we need an enforcement arm of this, organi of this event so that we can go and, and stomp on the throats of people that are screwing with it. <laughs> they tried, and that's the pro here's the problem with rallies. And that's why I don't want to do rallies or have any part of them. With the Tea Party, I was at a couple of the big rallies here in Washington, Oregon, and in Idaho. And the one in Idaho, they, had, they hired a group of people to actually come through and be taking racist and derogatory signs from people and saying, get the fuck out. But it was such a large portion of the population now because towards the end, at, toward, you know, once a movement's been going for a while, only the radicals show up. You know, Because the radicals are the ones that keep coming. So it got polluted to the point where it was no good anymore. So I don't want an event where it gets polluted by radicals. I want something that all people do is they go to a website. If they want to get the t-shirt that says, you know, whatever, open carry Thursday, ask me about my handgun or ask me about gun rights. We all have the t-shirt. You know, and then <clears throat> ask me about self-defense. You know, whatever yeah, yeah. you decide on. You know, you can buy the T-shirt at cost. We don't. No one makes money off of this. We that have could a be a reasonable of, markup that goes to gun websites. I understand. And we, yeah. we have a set of rules that say, while engaging in open carry Thursday, do these things. Obey your laws. If you have a state where you can open carry, open carry. If you have a state where you cannot open carry, carry an empty holster with maybe you know a piece of rolled up. Uh, with flyers in it that you can hand the flyers to people about why you're carrying that empty holster today. Also, we'll have a list of things. Do not. Don't engage in drinking while you're in the, engaged in the open carry event Thursday. I Let's think we could just preface happens. it with don't be an asshole. Don't violate your laws. Well, now, you got to be specific. you got to be carried. <laughs> yes. what right, about because the, when the reporter uh, comes to see people why are people are doing here. this, you want to make sure that you're well, it's got, and, you got, and, you, and you're going to also people. have to talk about things right. like, you're going to have to also say things like, this, you know, do not talk about politics. Do not, you know what I mean? There's going to have to be certain... It needs to be a website. You can yeah, about, but what you're is, asking you a bunch of... You need to make of... it very clear. You need to make it very, very clear on the website. This is about putting a positive light on gun owners and guns themselves in a way that people can understand that, that, that transcends politics and all the other bullshit. Yeah, but do you honestly think that you're going to be able to get people that are super, super politically minded, which are typically the people that are going to do this kind of stuff, and get them to just suddenly not talk about politics well, that day? I don't see that happening. Well, I go to things all the time where I don't talk about my other interests because they aren't appropriate there. Any adult... You can, can at least... But you can lay down the, the, the ground rules or whatever to say, hey, this is what we're requesting that you do. If right, you participate, right, right, right. we ask that you do this. You know, the same way if you look at, uh, I'm sure a lot of grassroots organizations, when they say, if you're going to attend, you know, we, we're not requiring it, but we request that you wear nice clothes. You don't show up looking like a dirty hippie or whatever so that people, yeah. you know, take us more seriously. Well, here's the thing. thing. Here's the thing. You're, I don't want this to be about to, making you're... gun owners look good. I don't want this to be about making just gun rights and gun owners look good. I want no, we want to just get guns out there. I want this to be about people recognizing that there are more people in their community that are gun owners and that are good people. I don't want it to be about recognizing to be more subtle. people. I want it to be that, look, there are good people in our neighborhood that, wow, this Thursday I found out they're also a gun owner. You know, uh, people are saying, uh, excuse uh, me, one guy supporter. is saying, uh, 
open carry blue guns or plastic guns. That's a bad idea, bro. Yeah. I, yeah, it costs I, money, and it's a thing that somebody who cannot be concerned might not realize that's not a real gun. Right, if it's just an empty things. holster, people see, uh, you know, oh, what is that? You know what I mean? You get a lot more questioning yeah. than you do uh, yep. concern. You know what I mean? One of my, I saw one of my neighbor one ladies was jogging with a weighted vest wearing an iPod, and they called the cops thinking she was jogging in a bomb vest. Well, I mean, people. Here's the thing. What the hell neighborhood do you live in? I wear one of those fishing j- jack or vests, except that instead of putting tackle in it, I loaded it up with hot dogs, and the same thing happened to me. Well, just, just <laughs> this is an idea. This is just an idea. It's not something I've thought through or anything, but it's something we can talk about later when we're more organizing this, like when we're setting up the website. We could even do something like there. I saw that there's places where you can have die cuts, like like foam core board things, cut and printed in the shape. We could have them cut in like plastic, you know, paper. Make them like a bright yellow that says, you know, has a saying on it. Like, like a chamber flag. Except yeah, a whole giant flag. chamber flag. Yeah. Like, this would be my gun if I had good gun rights in my state. You know, yeah. and they can carry that in a holster. Or even wear it around their neck if they want to. Well, in California, it could be like this, is those... regu- this, is, or this is considered a, an assault rifle. Because well, it, 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 it could be something like, you know, those those magnetic ribbons. Uh, you know, we I, I wear this today in remembrance of my Second Amendment rights in such and such a horrible state. Uh, you know they have I mean? to come up with a color. Yeah, yellow. Because uh, it's a chamber flag. Taken, yeah, that's already nut cancer or whatever. Every color has been taken by now. Or bicycle cancer. Or whatever. What's wrong with yellow? I mean, what, typically rainbow? yellow or like, how about safety orange? Hmm. I mean, the, the hunting aspect. That, we that could go with, solid. no, 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 wait, camo. <laughs> then nobody would see it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, look, look behind it. me. You get some woodland camo ribbons and we're good to go. Uh, to be no, fair, I will, not, I, I will not wear a camo ribbon. Come on, what, say, if it, what, what if it's what multicam? If, what if it's, if it's multicam, I'll consider it. <laughs> okay, multicam. We go multicam. No, I'm kidding. Nope. Then nobody could afford the latest. Do you realize the copyright nice. we have to pay to the multicam? Yeah, people? that's what he just said. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're on to something um, for sure. I think the the yeah, whole idea behind it. You know, putting something in the holster that doesn't look like a gun uh, to to uh, try and engage in um, conversations with people is a positive thing. You know, instead of instead of kind of oppressing people with your beliefs, just share knowledge. You know, that's that's what we should do. We shouldn't just go out. Oh, this is the way it's going to be because that doesn't work well. It never has. We should go out as a community and bond together and, and share our knowledge about why this is the right thing. You know, it's that simple. I think just a couple of people should kind of do it on the slide, just what being if, cool, and then everybody also copy them. Yeah. Somebody actually had a good what idea. If we, what like if we carried... I like. What, what if uh, everybody... And this is something you could do every day, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to be just uh, every... You know, this is on top of everything else. But um, where is it? Let me find the comment here. A uh, like a safety orange uh, paracord bracelet. Who I forget who said it because I can't find the comment now. But uh, I also I mean, saw the comment. That's that's I, that's. I can verify like the, the comment was made. And imagine yeah. imagine you find imagine that that gets popular. Imagine all gun owners start going out and we could pick a website. Will not wear a bracelet. Really? Yes. But you could use How this to handle it. Not what? even for the How about a Joker. No. Would you wear a joker I, I, that was I, What about like, a uh, listen, listen. Like I mean, we're, we're getting, we're getting off track. We're getting off track. Everybody here is comfortable wearing a holster. That's what this is all about. So we start with the holster and and then we progress from there. You know what I mean? What yeah, we put in it, that's that's First not we all the, the point the of the, then we all start buying the t-shirts. Well, it's it's not all about you know, what do we do in it? What do we put in it? It's about doing that action, taking that day and actually going out and doing it. Like, what, what do we got? Two weeks till the third Thursday? Uh, no, that's next week. Uh, no, September next 19th week. is the third Thursday this month. Why don't we, next week on Thursday, put out videos, all of us, everybody that has the opportunity, and say, listen, henceforth, the third Thursday of every month, we are going to. Uh, recognize that you know the Second Amendment is is right for the entire country. Blah 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 blah. Whatever kind of u- wording we we so choose at that point. I mean, really, why can't we do something like that? Just take that first step. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's I already viable. Find doing it. You know, it it might 
It might yeah, start small, but that's how it always starts. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a holster. I, I never intended. I never. We never thought about it. Trying to be, don't think of it as something that's trying to reach everyone. It's just something that exists, so right. that people can do it if they want. And if it catches on, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it's mm. just a thing to try. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's any it's, point in it's trying another, to it's make another it the method next of, big thing. It's another method of, of sharing and spreading good knowledge. I like the idea of having the holster, like having like I don't know little pamphlets or something in, rolled up in the holster, and just you can go. Well, you I know, think I mean you can kind of personalize short. it. You know, if you if each person says, okay, well, I, you know, I, I like uh, having like a little pocket constitution or something in there. That person could do mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? But as long as you've got that holster on, we're somehow unified by that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I'd almost be tempted can to I, try can it. I, put a, I plan on wearing a small the back holster. Cause everybody's gonna uh, that I'm going gonna, gonna to put a dildo in my holster and tell people I'm screwed out of my gun rights every day. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, when uh, they put that, that picture in the newspaper, there's work. no way they I mean, get the capture. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're, you're audience, willing to give up a work. dildo for that? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not that he's going to give it up. He's just going to put it in the holster during the day. I'm just going to say that uh, I don't think your personal dildo will fit in a holster. You're going to need to get one of those uh, slings. Oh, man. He, he oh. actually has a a dildo bat from St. Ferro the Third. Yeah. He's going to need one of those, uh, what, do you, what do you call them, where you sling them over your back? The, uh, scabbard? The big, like one of those lever guns, you know, that yeah. slide in your back like that. You just whip it out. Yep. That's what he's going to need for... You know, no, don't, worry, don't worry, don't worry. I don't think a 1911 have holster working equipment, and I can make a personalized uh, <laughs> holster that will fit. Uh, people are, people are uh, in the comments kind of getting into, uh, you know, what about the second Tuesday? You know, second Tuesday, second amendment, second day of the week. I mean, I that's kind of cool. That's easy to remember. Uh, somebody <laughs> said that... Second? Hmm. Somebody said that... Uh, well, there was no September reason. September 18th is that. National Carry and AK Day. I never heard that, but it might Wait, be the what? case. What about AK Day? Uh, uh, Brew Daddy 1911 said, "Sorry, Carry but and AK. That sounds communist. It's National Carry and AK Day. I didn't know that." Yeah, I think AKs are communist yeah. weapons, though, aren't they? they those are yeah, evil. If, if, I'm just gonna say, if it has to do with it, yeah, yeah, what's Carry Day? Are they? I'd maybe say okay, but. Well, here's the deal: if it has to do with AKs and G Wibs hasn't heard of it, and then it's not true. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, I never so carry an I mean, AK what do you what do you guys concept. think? Do we do we approach the Tuesday thing? Is that easier to remember than the third Thursday? Well, I would say honestly, I'll say in all fairness, um, this idea was Yankees. So we, I would, I would no, but but it's a collective. Well, thing. I mean, it well, can't, I it can't just that. be one person. Oh, it's one person. No, I don't mean I'm copyrighting oh, no, and taking all the fun. If, if you don't give it all the Yankees, do you? Now wait, no. Listen, what, listen. What I'm saying, damn. Sure, what I'm sure. saying is the idea, the idea of doing a monthly thing on the on the third Thursday of every month and all that kind of stuff. That was Yankees' idea. So if you're going to take that idea but change the day, dude, it totally was not. But anyway, oh, it wasn't. I'm, I thought it was yeah, his third Thursday. Yeah. Totally he random. Acted like it was his idea. Nobody disputed it. It was his chat that we started talking about it, but it was all of a conversation that came out of carrying around an AR-15 over your back oh, and okay. alternatives to that. And it was well, his chat. But anyway, no, third Thursday you know. was just a random pick just to have a day that you could that every month has. You know, you right, can't do right, fifth right, Thursday. Right. So second oh. Tuesday, it sounds a lot better. Although it does give yeah. a lot of extra uh, promotion to the twenty-two, which has enough promotion out there. <laughs> Could do the fourth and fifth Thursday, and then forty-five could get more. <laughs> Twenty-two is probably easier. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm just trying to read some of these uh, comments well, I mean, here. You could yeah, also I mean, do the, it on the uh, second of the month every whatever month. Whatever day your Glock is numbered with. If you do it, oh, whatever Glock idea. you're wearing, pick that day. What if you wear a thirty-six? Then you're never carrying it. <laughs> if you're screwed, even on leap year. So bring, bringing yeah. that up, though, do you do the second of every month, or do you do the second Tuesday? Because the second, you know, if you're taking it on that logic, the second is going to be, you know, fall sometimes on a weekend, sometimes on a weekday, and I could see an advantage there. And yeah. it's a lot easier to remember the second for the second if yeah. we're going to switch it to something easy. Just in the fact that that's like, especially depending on what day. I mean, a lot of people during the week. 
they just don't have an option. Maybe they don't go anywhere other than just to work, and they can't fucking put a holster on at work for whatever reason. So even if yeah. they wanted to participate, they're kind of I mean, always screwed I, I out of it. I, I, I could, but I'd only be able to do I it once. I can't just slap a holster on <laughs> while I go to work, you know. Yeah, I think I, I think you're right about aligning it with a number as opposed to a day of the week. So does it? So let's see the some second. feedback from the chat. Does the second of the month sound better for everybody then? Because it sounds like you just were saying, Matt, that a rotating day sounds better anyway. And where yeah, would I mean, we be doing second, this? I think it makes more sense because wherever, whenever, whenever, it's whenever it's appropriate, wherever it's appropriate. Yeah, I mean, it, thir- Thursday, every Thursday, every wherever Thursday, you get away with it. Sounds great, except for the <laughs> fact a lot of people are going to remember. I mean, hell, I still have problems remembering which fucking Thursday is Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's a good point. I don't ever think about what Thursday of the month is it. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'm saying is by having it on the second, the second every month, yeah, you've got wait a minute, does every month have a second? Remembers the day. So. Plus, yeah, you've so. got the advantage of sometimes that's going to fall on a weekend where yeah. more people are going to do it. Is there any holidays well, that are on the second it, ever? I don't think yeah, so. I don't know. Yeah, here's what I'm thinking, and I mean, shoot it down or, or whatever. But Guns I, ready. I, I'm ready to shoot it down. I'm thinking. We're ready. To do something, uh, or nope, I don't like it. <laughs> a, uh, <laughs> that Canadian like a wa- just brought a knife to a shoot down fight. Like a Walmart, for instance. Everybody's got Walmart. I can throw it, and if it's a could, bayonet. It's if not if a knife. you could get Walmart to agree to let you s- put, set up a little tent outside, right outside the front of the store, every pick the day. How, how is living at Walmart going to help? Well, you <laughs> will get to know yeah. all the other homeless people. Well, no, they that, can, that, like just like when the Girl Scouts are sitting out there. Yeah, that would be one their stuff. That would be one centralized location that everybody has in their area that that we could relate to. You know, and yeah, put it here, out there. Every Walmart, every Tuesday, yeah. or every well, second. Here's, here's again, the, the concept though was to just, not be let me as just much. Say right a, now, uh, here's the problem: is is Walmart doesn't give a shit about Second Amendment rights. They give a shit about money. Yep. And they and they will look well, at saying something like a Walmart somewhere for people go. Yeah, yeah pass pro shop, thing, but not everybody has. Not, and I have no problem if you want to go into Walmart and make videos. And people, you know, maybe Walmart's the place you go because that's where you're going to get the most attention. You know what I mean? Because everybody goes to fucking Walmart. So go to Walmart. But as far as setting up tents out front, I guarantee you, there's not a. The Walmart idea wasn't to make it an act, an, like right, an right, activist right. type it, of thing, but a passive awareness thing. Right. So it's not like we're out no in your face. What. It's just something there that people can ask you about. They can approach you. And then it gets holsters out there in front of people the same way that open carry, the theory behind open carry is to get guns in front of people. This gets something in front of people where now, why every, it seems like every month I see holsters. Like, and then they're going to start questioning that. Maybe they'll go online and start finding some of our videos. And then you know, some reporter will eventually do that and think it's an interesting story. And then it might you know, get around a little bit. But the well, idea wasn't to go out and have rallies. In other words, it wasn't yeah, to like, I mean, make big posters and put them everywhere. Month, it's just to do it kind of subtly. Yeah. Yeah, if okay. it's consistent every month, then eventually it's going to start to get recognized. I mean, but, if you consistently but on the other hand, who's going to stop anybody from doing that? If you really think it's worth it, well, um, that's what I was set saying. up a table somewhere, especially like at a gun show. Right, or and that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. A that consistent anyway. location that would give everybody an opportunity in each state to recognize a specific location that someone would be there on this day and be it's able kind to of get the, some information What it's supposed from. to do is spark gun awareness, and if that sparks activism, then go for it. I just don't want to require people to do it or expect people to do it. Right. The idea the, is just the, take a whole search you're not wearing, put it on the other side, wear your gun concealed, and be prepared to explain why you're wearing an empty holster. I mean, let's let's all second. be let's all be on the same page that the mm. idea behind this is unification. You know, oh, yeah. we're all trying to be on the same page. It doesn't matter if you're. Now we we're trying being, to sell T-shirts. Wait a minute. Nice. If you're if you're trying to if you want to get out in front of Walmart and and sh- share the message that way, cool. But as long as we're all trying to do the same thing in maybe a couple different ways, you know, we're all rocking that uh that holster, then I think it's a home run. Yeah, because the message comes across. You know, the message to the people, not necessarily to the news, but. You know, it's it's not just so, it's not just the me, wacko I, guys. I'm going to uh, me, I'm actually going to reach you, out. Uh, go ahead. No, let me just say, as you, Bob, are you going to go ahead and rock an open holster? You, you know, know I, I I, I kind of thought about it. I mean, <laughs> as 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 weird as that would be, because at one time we did have carry in Canada. I mean, it was a long time. Up there. 
Because people will feel bad they got an empty holster and be like, oh, I'm sorry, you must have dropped this gun and give you their gun. That's <laughs> <laughs> like Okay, buddy? Okay? Okay, buddy? <laughs> I'm not your buddy, Oh, I hate to guy. see that you lost your gun there. Let me get you with this, this gun here. Yeah. Oh. I, I know, because, I mean, hey, I, think I you will your never gun. get it you back. I mean, there's just no way, but I kind of would. <laughs> this is a great uh, pale face fish hunter. If you see someone with an open holster and you have one too, is there a secret wave or handshake? <laughs> That's fantastic. Put your yeah, fingers wink, in the air, empty holster, and they put your fingers in yours, yeah. and you know, just just go pew pew up in the air with your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get it. They'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that won't work. I do that all the time normally. <laughs> all right, so I, I, from what I'm seeing in the chat, a lot of people like the idea of the second of the month. Um, everybody seems to be in agreement with the whole holster thing. You know, if you're in a state you can't open carry, an empty holster is great. If you can't open carry, well, then, you know, honestly, I almost think even if you're in a state where you can open carry, an empty holster makes a bigger statement. No, that was you the know? whole point because otherwise you're just open carrying. Yeah, I mean, I almost think an empty holster. The point is to get people to come up and go. In, why you got an empty holster on? Yeah, it, it's going to ask. It's going to. It's going to attract more attention. Yeah. It's going to get more people to to go. Wait a minute. Why is that holster empty? Um, you know, I mean, hell, people will be like, "Did you lose it?" You mean, you know what I mean? I mean, so, I, so I, let me let me ask people, this question uh -huh. because we we are all going to collectively get asked this when when somebody gets approached about having an empty holster, um, we should. Maybe not have the exact same response, but have the same idea behind it. What what do people share? Do they instantly go, you know, I, I'm I'm spreading awareness of the Second Amendment because X or well, you know? You know here's a, do you think that should it should be freedom? Well, well, well listen, well, should it should it be something I different for each state? Well, now here's the thing. I almost want, want to say you want to leave the Second Amendment out of it if you're talking. You know what I mean? For the most part. You want to talk about guns and gun owners. You want to talk about that we're just bringing awareness to, you know, that kind of thing. Because when you start talking about the Second Amendment, half the population tunes out. They fucking yeah, oh, their eyes glaze over, and they don't listen. They don't pay attention. You know what I mean? They think you're just right. some right wing gun nut. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you if you if you look at it from a personal point of view, I'm a I'm just I'm I'm doing this because I'm a gun owner. And I'm tired of having people look at me like I'm a bad guy because I own guns. And so a lot of people decided to get together on the second of every month, and we put on an empty holster just to draw awareness to it that, you know, we're everyday people just like you, just like everybody else. Okay, we're not, you know, some nut job survivalist or whatever it is. We're just another person that has decided to take – personal responsibility to a level in which we don't rely on other people to take care of us. Right. That we understand that we have the right to protect ourselves and that we have a duty to protect ourselves. We and have a we comment here. Uh, people think we're going unarmed. Yeah, yeah. About we're, not. we're not saying go unarmed. We're saying go with an additional holster on your side. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, I mean, if you can conceal yeah. carry, I mean, hell yeah, conceal carry, but you just want to you know, what if you can only open well, carry? Now, so you have one holster and then one empty holster? Um, sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and here's the thing, though. But I mean, do take into consideration there are people who live in some parts of the country where you're far more likely to get harassed. Okay. And if you live in in a, in a particular part of the country where you know the chances are you're going to have somebody call the cops on you because you're wearing an, an empty holster or anything that has to do with a gun. Then maybe it's not the best idea to conceal carry that day. Just mm -hmm. throwing that out there because you don't yeah, want to yeah. cause problems for yourself. I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay. Well, that's that's a decision. Try. That's a I'm decision that each try. person is going to have to to make. You're, you're going to have to make that own that decision for yourself. And I'm not saying it's right that you should have to disarm yourself just so that you can put on an open holster because you might get some attention for it. But keep that in mind. If you live in a part of the country where you know you're probably going to get harassed, then you might want to think twice about it. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, call a couple holster makers tomorrow and uh, see about getting something set up for this. Um, Did you hear all that, Yankee? No, if I was out eating meatloaf. We're thinking it's a better idea to change it to the second of the month so that it's not something that people have to do the math to remember. 
and then that also gives it an oh, opportunity to one. shift. Right. Well, uh, we kind of just picked the third Thursday anyways randomly, so this way uh, it's yeah. uh, it gives us, well, most of the time it'll probably be during the week, so we still have that opportunity, but every once in a while it's on a weekend, so people that, you know, for whatever reason maybe can't carry during the week still have an opportunity. Yeah, we just took your idea and made it better and took credit for it. Yeah, and now we're taking credit for it and all, all licensing and copyrights. I've got my video out there first, so I've got intellectual property rights. <laughs> it was not about the second. <laughs> no, the, the, second the second makes sense in one way, just in that it's the second, and we are talking about the Second Amendment. Now, that being said, what we were talking about before that you missed was that the idea is to not get political about it if you're asked about an empty holster, and to, if somebody asks you about it, you don't. You don't immediately go into a Second Amendment spiel because as soon as I'm somebody starts, to 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 exactly, and and that's the point is that if you go about it that way, you immediately lose fifty percent of the population. They immediately tune out and go, "Oh God, you're one of those Second Amendment gun nuts." But if you keep it about, "Hey, look, I'm just another guy in the neighborhood, and I'm doing this as a way to just you know bring recognition to the fact I'm a gun owner and I'm just like you and I'm like everybody else," and if somebody asks about it. You have to remember to not just immediately go into a Second Amendment spiel, even though some of us might want to. I want to have like a card. I want to even have like business cards that people can just hand to people if they want to. And I want yeah. one of the points I want to be made is the day you see my gun, 29 other days of the month, it's still here, but you don't see it. And no one's dropping oh, down. And, here, no and here's, here's the other thing, though. Well, and here's the other thing. We were talking about it. Is Is it... Is it really even in even in states where open carry is is legal? What makes a bigger statement when you're talking about gun rights? Having the gun showing or just having an empty holster? Having the gun showing is going to draw a lot more interest. See, I, I don't know. I mean, honestly, you see an empty holster, you know, why is that? Why why is he carrying an empty holster? When they see open, I don't think people will notice an empty holster. To be honest, I don't think you'll be answering a lot of questions. I think you'll go about your day. Because to be honest, when you open carry, most people don't notice. So most people. No, that's true. It's not like you're going to have people standing in line to ask the same question over and over. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. I don't think the point was to go out and and uh, you know right. create a stir. It was it right. was to be a, a simple yeah, movement. No, there actually is a, 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 a definite... Yeah, it'd be in, great to be like yeah. wearing it for the eighth or ninth time and somebody going, oh, what are you doing wearing that? Well, so, I do well I've been wearing it, you know, every Tuesday. Because I do want people to come up and say, I can't believe you're carrying that gun. I don't like guns. Because those are the kind of people I want to start conversations with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you're saying is you want everybody to be an open carry activist? You don't have to be an activist. No, no, no. Right? That's you're saying. I want it to be this way. I want it to be this way. Well, it's not something that if you don't want to be involved in it, don't be involved in it. That's it's your own easy choice. Easy to figure out. Just do it Yankees way. He always yeah. wants it his way. Yeah. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. No one's being forced to do it. But there are a lot of people that will be willing to do it. There's a lot of people that won't be happy sitting at the back of the bus. There will be some people that will always be happy to sit at the back of the bus. Well, no, no, I, I, I don't think it's a that. Further from the driver, you can't see what you're doing. I, I'm just trying to look at it in the further way Further from a brick wall you hit. If, yeah, if you can get too. all the people to be able to do one thing one day of the month, every month, regardless of where they live, then it makes more of a unifying statement than, well, yeah, some people over here were open carrying, and these people over here were having to you know, carry just an empty no, holster. Not, don't agree whereas at all. Everybody no. across the country is able to do the same thing because if you already live in a state that has open carry, then that already, then that's already a statement. That's a statement you can make any day of the week. That's what statement yeah, yeah. you can make all the time. What statement am I making in Washington with an empty holster? Is it? It sucks that I can't carry a gun here. I can carry a gun. Oh. Well, so, 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 so can, that, so can you know, a third of the country. And a third of the country that can't carry guns will have an empty holster. And that's why we'll have two sections. You well, know? and it came out of the discussion of these guys that were doing the M16 at Starbucks, and someone had said something to the effect of, well, you know, you got to do something at some point, or otherwise nobody hears you. And then it was like, all right, well, you know, how do you 
just you know so it got into like how do you justify uh, you know doing a, a an awareness thing like that and we said well, you know if there was a national even if it wasn't a huge uh, voice behind it but if there was a national every second day of the month you carry it you know you, you do something for gun awareness at least if nothing else you when you go to court or if you get you know pushed on it you can say look I'm just participating in a national event every second day of the month anybody who wants to be gun awareness you know, I happen to choose this maybe it was inappropriate but that's why I'm doing it it's not like I just decided to go crazy today and wear an empty holster or wear a gun that's where it came from at least. And yeah. real quick, for two doors down, there is no law on age or age restriction on wearing an empty holster, so you'd be and perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, there might be a school color. policy. Though. If we just all sit yeah. here, and yeah. <laughs> we're all going to just wear lavender ribbons. Well, that doesn't do anything for our cause if 99% of the people we see don't bother to ask us what our lavender ribbons are about. You're going to get more oh, interest. That's a good point. From a gun than you are from a lavender ribbon. You know? Right, but I, I think the that's point of the, the no empty ribbon. thing was to allow more people to get involved because a lot of guys are not able to carry at work. You know, maybe they can get away and with an empty holster. But, at work, but they, if they live in a state where they can carry to the grocery store that night, we want to encourage them to do that, to be visible so people can see a man and a gun, not a principle. They're not talking principle or morals. We're talking reality of that man has a gun and he's not hurting anyone. He's someone I see every day of the week usually at the grocery store. He's not a bad guy, and now he's got a gun, so I'm seeing good so guys. you're just involved. advocating if someone's going to do participate in the, the day, that they don't have to just do an empty, empty holster. You could also choose to open carry where normally you can seal carry. If you can, where you're at. Now, I you think Yank is doing a shout-out to good guy with a gun. What about Ewok? I don't know anybody would do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying we should carry an Ewok around. <laughs> Why not? I carry a P95 because good guy with a gun is too heavy. Yeah. I don't know. Have you seen any <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure Ewok can fit in a universal holster. Yeah. Uh, and come popping out with two 9 millimeters blazing. Or better yet, we could just get a little baby Bjorn and get handguns, and he could be in the baby Bjorn with a couple of with a gun in each hand as we're walking around all day. <laughs> now, would you want him on the that, front, or, or would you want him to be a tail gunner on your back? No, I'd, I'd rather have him. He was on the front. I don't want him behind me. Yeah. Would it be I a good idea to put little penny yeah. holsters on babies on the second? Yeah. Well, for awareness, for the children. Now that would be funny, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be offended by it. Probably. Yeah, that's another you send your kids to daycare with holsters, empty holsters. That's another reason why I thought we need something like people can get like a T-shirt, you know, that says "Ask me about gun rights" or you know, "Ask me about my holster" or "Ask me about my gun." There could be a couple different options. If you're just carrying an empty holster, we can have a T-shirt that says, ask me about my empty holster, you know, or why, ask me why my holster is empty, you know, you know, something like that to start conversations because this is about awareness and conversation. This is purely a PR campaign. This is not a political campaign. We're not trying to win any certain right. We're not trying to overturn any certain law. It's just a PR campaign. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea, good way to go about it. And not everybody has to open carry a gun. But if you're in an area where you can, do it. Exercise the right. A right un you a, a right unexercised is a right you're in risk of losing. Exercise the right if you have it. It might make it it might be uncomfortable. You know, you might feel perfect. Freedom isn't free. But if well, you're if the case, to be allowed to do is, it, do it. If that's, that's the, the case, case, you make a good point. Well, wait a minute. If that's the case, I'm just going to sling one of my rifles over my back because that's legal for me to open carry a yeah, rifle. Yeah, but that's going to scare people, so you have to use common sense. You're that's asking the, people to use common sense. That's yeah. why we're setting it up structured so they don't have the option of using their own d d opinion of what it is. That's why we're saying specifically what to do, where to do it, how to do it. So that it, we're not associated with the people that are slinging AR-15s on their shoulder and walking around grade schools. What if the shirt has an AR-15 iron-on across the back? No, I don't want to be associated with front. assault rifles, <laughs> like, uh, assault rifles, or anything like that. Did anybody I, watch uh, Haas's video on the that he did just did on the? No, I figure I'm going to fight with him if I watch it. So I've been waiting. <laughs> yeah. It's only three minutes. So I'll probably watch it. What do you do a video on? He's 
kind of, I don't know it, the title is some, the title is something like why what I don't know you saw it. Yeah, basically he's basically saying that people uh, um, people, people carry, open carry as a protest aren't idiots or something. Aren't like so the title is open carry quote unquote demonstrators are not assholes. There you go. Not yeah. That's like saying not, not all of them. It's like saying you know, not everyone that drives a BMW is a douchebag. That all douchebags drive BMWs, so it's kind of like you know saying all people who open carry aren't aren't assholes, but a lot of assholes love to open carry and love to get a lot of attention. So it does get a lot of negative stereotypes. So we you know we want to try to get rid of that negative stereotype. We want to eliminate the ones that are standing outside their courthouse with a camera baiting police officers. We want to have a very like I said that website of information like do go about your normal daily behaviors. Don't try to initiate, you know, conflicts with law enforcement. Don't try to initiate conflicts with anyone. Don't be drinking in a bar with your gun. You know, don't be doing things that are going to be a negative influence. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. What about twerking? Are you allowed to twerk on the second? Because I joined the yes, wrong chat. Then, I'm sorry. You twerk all you want, long as you have a holster that is twerk rated. That's to have twerk level retention. Yes. You know you're not going to stop chaos from twerking. That's going to be. It's, that's just going to happen. It's yeah. it's a. Yep. 